Go big, big. All right, you little punks. Guess what time it is? Just guess. Go ahead. I'll give you a really big hint. There's a giant black hill in front of us in the dark, dark. It got really dark really fast. We are beginning our week. Uh, I don't know how long this week is gonna last because I only have two loads planned out and there's a holiday in the middle of this week. Ugh, I'm so tired of these holidays. They screw up my weeks. Seriously. <laughs> they really do. Um, so we're gonna do a tunnel time by popular demand, ya punks. Um, that and my trip just lined up that I'm gonna take the Pennsylvania Turnpike for the, the entirety. Um, because that's where I'm going. I'm going to Minneapolis. Do, 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 do. That's my destination. I gotta be there Tuesday and it's Sunday night. So I'm a, I'm a lazy bum. I went home and did some stuff at the house. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about, I don't know. Uh, we can talk about numbers, I guess. Can we talk about numbers? You wanna talk about numbers? We're gonna do that in the tunnel. So it's gonna sound a little strange. Uh, but we are coming up on our first tunnel, Blue Mountain, which is appropriate considering the sky color. So let's uh, let's go to Blue Mountain, and I guess I'll talk about uh, numbers. I guess I don't I don't know how much this load pays. <laughs> is that bad? I don't know how much this load pays. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah. Obviously, because you get a tunnel time. And, believe it or not, I have four tunnel, well, is it four? I did four total, so you get the double already. And then you get three more. But I figured it was too much to have them all at once. So you'll get them at the end of every day. Get excited, you get a tunnel time. Uh, four of them, four tunnel times. So I'm gonna get moving. I think I've got everything ready. I got breakfast set out. I got everything unpacked that I can unpack for now. Um, again, there's a holiday in the middle, so once things slow down, I think actually on the 4th, I can take my time, which will be nice. Boop. So let's get out of here and get moving and all the stuffs and things. Easy pass. Easy pass. Da -na -na -da -na 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 -na. I am... I don't like toll booths. I have an aversion to them. I just don't like going through them because they're all skinny because they try and squeeze as many of them in as they can. So I usually end up all the way to the right anyway because it's the oversized lane for my fatty fat fat but yeah i love the uh oversized lane it's the best um if you'll notice these are not great little toll arms i think people have a problem with like flying through them <laughs> um yeah <laughs> 
It's just not great. I don't know why people decide that they need to like run into these toll arms. I don't know what it is, Indiana, about your toll booths. But anyway, we're in Indiana. Uh, we're gonna carry on through Indiana now. We went through Ohio this morning. Nah. Uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot of fields and a lot of green and some trees. And that's about it. Let's carry on with all of those things. I was looking through those old pictures the other day, actually, while I was adding them all to Lightroom, and uh, they, uh, we need some better ones. So I think I need to go back. I think that would be, I think that would be pertinent. We should bring Jet. I think Jet would have fun. But he's scared of everything, so maybe not. He's a cowardly dog. Anyway, we're going through the Tuscarora tunnel. This is my next tunnel. Yes, do we want to comment on, I don't know, what do you want to talk about? I don't know. Talk about things and the stuff and the things. I don't know. Let's figure this out. Uh, uh, usually I talk about how garbage this tunnel is because it is. You see all that stuff at the entrance? It was awful. Um, I don't know what else to talk about. I'm not even kidding. I'm starting my night really late. I don't know where I'm going to park because it's a Sunday and I have noticed the parking on Sundays is really bad. And I think it has a lot to do with everybody getting ready to go out for the week. And they're all taking all the parking spots. So yeah, Sundays are the worst, especially at night. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I might just head for Toledo and try and stop at Toledo again because I noticed the TA in Toledo in like south of Toledo off of the pike on two something, I don't, 275 maybe, I don't remember, uh, but whatever that is right there, the one, the TA Toledo down there, that one usually has a parking spot, uh, and if not there, the Petro for sure will have a parking spot, especially by the time I get in there, because it's going to be 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, knowing my luck, because that's just how I roll, at least I think that's how long it's going to take me to get there tonight, I don't know, I really don't, but I think it is, so I'm prepping myself for that. And that's two or three down in a really, really short amount of time, woo, and now we can get get rolling again and go back up to doing 70 because I ain't slow no mo no way oh my god I didn't even tell you <laughs> didn't even tell you I should tell you about yesterday. So we delivered. <laughs> um, everything went smooth. Well, everything actually went really smoothly for me. It didn't go smoothly for somebody else. I was supposed to be the second truck and a live unload, which is rare for this place. Usually I'm doing a drop hook. Well, apparently I got there early and the other guy was getting there super, super late. He was supposed to be there way before I was. 
and he <laughs> he was showing up way 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 later than he was supposed to so I get to do drop and hook which is great so I had the rest of the day to kind of screw around and do nothing which is awesome so I get a bunch of stuff done um, but now we're at our next pickup which is inside a garage because we're in Minnesota so that makes sense um, yeah no I'm super stoked I nailed this back in I'm really proud of myself <laughs> I didn't think I'd nailed it so well tells me it's gonna rain. This is a weird intersection. Do you see this? The one to my left has no sign that says stopping. It's not even a yield. And then the, I have a stop sign and then it, it's just weird. It's just weird. It's just strange. But it works. As long as everybody's happy. Thanks Tom. Let's go ahead and get back on 169. Go south. Deeper into Minnesota. Almost Wisconsin, really, where I'm going. Almost Wisconsin. Alright. We're loaded. On this road for 14 miles. Thanks, son. We got one more pickup. Good morning, Internet! Oh, gross. Like, my nose just started leaking. For no good reason. Um, hi. How are you? I am up. Uh, it's early still too. I've been up for a little while. I get up at like 6.30, which is so weird, let me tell you. I don't know what it is about my clock or if it's just like working with the sun now or what it is, but now I get up early. Uh, we're getting ready to leave. I've got an interview with a, um, a gentleman from Britain actually that's like doing a, I don't know how to explain it. He's doing a research project on mental health and YouTube people. so. I volunteered. I was like, oh my god, yes, talk to me. I have stories. So I have to do that this afternoon. But in the meantime, which I forgot about, <laughs> he emailed me this morning and I was like, oh, I forgot. So that's fine. I don't have anything else to do. Uh, so I need to plug in the laptop while I'm driving just to make sure it's fully charged, uh, which I should do now. Maybe I can plug in the vacuum too so I can vacuum this. But he, It's dirty. Do you see how dirty it is in here? It's not that dirty. But it is dirty. I should clean. Um, I'm gonna go get my coffee. I just filled my water. I ate breakfast. I ate my brekkies. Mm, that's it. I don't. I don't really have um, any more updates. We're just gonna go. Um, I put this on when I take my shower. This thing, just cause it's my truck. I don't want it to disappear. Um, but look, there's another Landstar. You can see his logo. Itty bitty bitty right there. I don't know. Does this have lots of spots? This still looks kind of full to me. I'm not quite sure. another fit I think it's the heat now that I have realized it it's hot in that our windshield we're at our truck stop for the night uh, it's this tiny little place in Clayton Indiana um, it is a TA it's just small and it has a lot of reserve spots look at all of those um, I don't know where the microphones are on this thing uh, one's on top oh one's right by my right by my finger where I was just putting myself so anyway we're done for tonight uh, we continue tomorrow morning I have a neighbor on either side which is great uh, I think that's it. I think I'm just gonna go eat dinner and relax and get up tomorrow morning and figure out if I'm gonna be able to deliver at some point. <laughs> the place I'm going to has very strict appointments. I have been there before. Like, there's a couple places. One says I have an 8 o'clock appointment. One says I have a 9 o'clock appointment. Another piece of paper says that I had an 11 o'clock appointment on the 3rd, which makes no sense. So, 
we'll see what happens when I get there tomorrow. I'm a little, a little nervous, so we'll see. our last installment for the evening because it is the last tunnel on the Pennsylvania Turnpike and the last tunnel we will be going through on this journey at least this half of the journey I don't know if there's any other tunnels anywhere because I don't have a full week yet but this is Holligany oh and they are on top of things man I haven't seen a trooper here in a while just hanging out all right well I'm going to the tunnel <laughs> Woo! Yeah. This total time again. I am not sure what to talk to you guys about. I mean, I guess I can talk to you about the stuff that's going on at the house because Steve is like wiring the bedroom and we keep talking about like other things we need to do to the house. That is a low gear. Let's do this one. That's better. Maybe this one? Ah, oh, yeah, much happier. There we go. Good job, Barbosa. Very good. I love my engine. If I told you that, the MX-13 is actually really good. I enjoy it. It's reliable. I've had no issues with it. I'm pushing 462,000 miles. Yeah. Yeah, we're crushing it. Making some making some miles. I'm going really slow in this tunnel, though. I think we're going uphill. I think that might be half of the problem. What a really long tunnel. See you know what I'm It's also very dark. Half of their lights are out, but it is very dark. <laughs> it is a thing we are experiencing. But, hey, you guys want a tunnel time? You're going to get tunnel time with a bunch of bugs, because it is that time of the year, and everything is out. I don't like killing uh, the, the lightning bugs, though. That really irritates me, because they're pretty. And then they leave all their phosphorescence all over my window, and then it slowly fades, like a like a crap one of those bracelets, the bracelets that you crack, and it, it blows neon bracelets. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember. It's late. I'm driving. We're in a tunnel. It's tunnel time. It's tunnel time. I'm to go, still going slow. The trooper is nowhere to be seen. Is there one on this end? Is there one hanging out here? This is it. The last tunnel. Is that fun? Did you guys have a blast? You got your tunnel time. I hope you're satisfied and entertained and all of those things. I am going to continue to drive, probably listen to an audio book or two. <laughs> I doubt it. I may be like half of one. Maybe. Good morning, Internet! Man, you guys are getting all the stuff in this video. Time, tunnel times and uh, the good morning, Internet, and all the stuff. Let's see if I turn that down a little bit. Nope. It's hot. It's on auto. It just wants to run. There. Okay, so we know where we're going next. It's 156 miles from here, which is way further than I thought. But it pays $3 a mile. I'll drive 156 miles for $3 a mile. Uh. <laughs> Let me see. I was oh, I was gonna let my dude know that I delivered. Gmail. Boop. And then I got compliance up my butt for some things. All right, reply all. All right, I'm gonna go write my email with two hands. Sorry guys, um, but we're gonna start driving. We're gonna go. We're delivered. It's great. Delivered. We're empty. The trailer stinks. It's stinky. Like chemicals. I'm lazy. <laughs> the less I have to deal with, the better. So, uh, logbook's all done, drop hook is all done, trailer looks great, tandems have been slid, I gotta go check on the locks, I gotta put a lock on the back of my trailer, I have a couple little things to do, and then we're leaving. And I'll be home sooner than I thought, which is way cool, way cool. you my favorite favorite reason for the Ohio Turnpike is you can
can get Panera. I'm so excited. There's like fresh mozzarella and bacon and maybe tomato in here somewhere because it's a caprizi, so there should be basil and tomato. Yep, I see tomatoes. I don't know where the basil is. Anyway, I'm calling it quits. I got four hours until I get to Carl Lizzle. Um, I don't remember how many are on my trip. Oh, it's balsamic vinegar. Mm. Oh, it's like a sauce. It's so delicious. Oh, let's see. What do you say, Tom? Remaining time. Total trip. Seven hours and 15 minutes. I could finish this tomorrow if I wanted to. I'm staying here. I am done. I'm not moving. Mm. Mostly because I only have two hours and change on my clock left, and I'm just a lazy bum. Two and a half. Whatevs, yo. So anyway, I'm all done. And uh, that's awesome. And I think that's all I got. Uh, there's a couple RVs here. One of them's got their slides out, but they parked in a good spot. They're next to like a pole, so they don't have to worry about the truck coming in and squeezing. There's nobody here. Lady, look. It's empty. <laughs> it's awesome. So, I'm going to call it quits. You guys have my week. I mean, you don't really want to come hang out with me and Carl Lizzle and work my way to New Jersey, do you? I mean, come on. So, I'll send you back to the office. Right? Go get it. Go get it. Now you're just going to stand here and stare at me? He was chasing a slap. Anyway, we're all done. We, uh, I'm editing video. Ta-da. And then... That's it. So, any announcements this week? I don't know if we have any. Um, my postcards have all got put away. Did you guys order postcards? This is July's. I'm about getting ready to put these together. Um, that's all at Octosquad, which is alleynight.com slash Octosquad. Um, so if you wanted to be part of the Octosquad, that'd be super cool. Other than that, I don't have any other announcements. Um, I'm getting ready to get out of here again and go back out on the road, because that's what I do. I come home, I edit a video, I leave. <laughs> And then we'll just do this all over again. So I will see you in two weeks, which is the 28th of July. 28th of July. Yeah. There he goes. Get it! Why didn't you get it? One more. All right, Tom. All right. Okay. Yes. One more. That's it. And then we're done. I know. There's three other tunnels on this highway, but I'm only doing one. Because it's the end of the video. Yeah. All right, Tom. I got you. We picked up the fact that this is a dangerous tunnel. Welcome to the Allegheny Mountain. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. One, two, three, go. Anyway, we're in a tunnel. Hooray, we're in a tunnel. I have had my coffee this morning, sort of. I bought a Starbucks yesterday on the turnpike. And my new cup keeps things super duper cold. I mean, it's still frozen. It's lovely. And it's really short. I should put some more cream in it, but I don't want to stop because I only got an hour and 48 minutes left. 104 miles till I get off this highway. 106 until I get to my destination for the day, which is lovely. I'm uh, quite excited. Yes, my lights are on for those of you that are like, put a ring sound like they're on. They're on. Don't you fret. I got this. We are jamming out. Having a great time. Following this Greyhound bus for as long as I plan on following the Greyhound bus. I don't know. I'm going to ditch it at some point. This highway is 70. I can do 70. We're getting great mileage. Ugh. For climbing all these hills, I'm still pulling 7. Yesterday, I was pulling almost 9. By the time I got on the highway and went fast, I was pulling 8 and a half, maybe 8.6. But that's awesome. Like, I will take that. What happens when you carry very, very little weight? Hey, I got 15,000 pounds or so in here. All right, we're getting out of here. Woo! Go around this corner. And that was the Allegheny Mountain, and that's the end of your video.